Fascio-scapulohumeral muscular dystrophy. It is one of the most common forms of muscular dystrophy affecting some one half to one million people worldwide. This genetic condition causes a progressive lifelong weakening of skeletal muscles, often beginning in the face, shoulder girdle, upper arms, torso, and legs. Many other skeletal muscles can be affected. The severity can range from a child who is born with weakness and is in a wheelchair before age 10 to seniors who don't realize they are carrying the genes until one of their children is diagnosed. 5% of patients develop symptoms before age 5. FSHD can cause sensory neural hearing loss and abnormal blood vessels in the retina that can lead to blindness if not treated. This child with early onset FSHD has lost hearing and sight. Many patients recall being teased or scolded for not smiling or sleeping with eyes not fully closed. Boys are typically diagnosed during their teenage years, often when they notice a change in their athletic ability. Women tend to be diagnosed about a decade later. FSHD robs you of your smile and strength to complete simple, everyday tasks. The world becomes filled with barriers and you become dependent on others. There is no effective treatment for FSHD. Physical exercise and therapy help to maintain the muscles that are still functioning. 70% of patients suffer from chronic, often severe pain. Major surgery to attach the shoulder blade to the rib cage can help restore range of arm movement in some patients. Surgery can stabilize the spine in cases of severe lardosis, but it comes at a very high cost, loss of the ability to stand and walk unaided. Around 20 to 25 patients will need a scooter or wheelchair by age 50. These patients face a higher risk of respiratory insufficiency. Weakening of the diaphragm causes sleep apnea, fatigue, and retention of carbon dioxide, a potentially life-threatening complication. FSHD is inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion, meaning a person with FSHD has a 50% chance of passing it on to each child. This grandmother, daughter, and granddaughter all have FSHD, but a third of cases are spontaneous with no previous family history of the disease. FSHD can arise in any family. Couples face hard choices about whether to have a child and risk passing on the disease, and the toll of pregnancy and childbirth can take on a mother with FSHD, and about being a parent with a disability, not being able to do all the things you would like to do for your child. FSHG affects the whole family, both those who have the condition and those who care for them. FSHG progresses in fits and starts. A particular muscle may degenerate over a few months and then things stabilize. The person adapts to the loss until it happens again. Many patients fight depression. The scariest thing is when you start going downhill and you don't know when it will stop, says one woman about the emotional trauma of living with FSHG. Those living with FSHD say they would be happy if the progression of their symptoms would just stop. FSHD affects around one in 8,000 people. This means that there are families in every small town or city neighborhood who live with this condition.